Hello everybody, welcome to the Create and Learn channel, where we make magic with technology. Today we will be showing you how to create an obby in Roblox Studio. Once you open your Roblox Studio application, you want to go to the new tab with the plus sign and click on base plate. Once your base plate loads up, we're actually only going to keep this spawn point. We don't want the base plate itself because Obbies are way more fun to play when you're in the sky. So we want to go over to our Explorer. And if you don't happen to see your Explorer located on the right or left side of your screen, you can go up to the top menu at the very top of your page and click on the View tab. Over on the left side, you'll see the word Explorer. If your Explorer is missing, if you click that button, it should show up on your screen. So in our Explorer, we see an area called Workspace. There's a little drop down arrow. And when we click on that, we can see the base plates right here. We don't want that base plate anymore. So we're going to right click on that and choose Delete. You can also hit the Backspace key. Now we have our spawner and nothing else. So how do we start adding objects into our obby? Well, when we put objects into Roblox Studio, we call those parts. And you'll notice if you're on your home tab here at the top, the parts can be located right at the top. We're going to start small and start with just a rectangular prism by clicking on the part. Now you'll see my part kind of ran away from me here. If for any reason you can't find the part you add, you can choose the F key, F as in Frank, and it'll zoom right in on that part so you can find it in your workspace. We're going to drag this part over to the spawner for now, just so we can have a better view of it. When you're moving around Roblox Studio, it's just like playing Roblox. You're going to use the WASD keys for moving forward, back, side to side. You're going to click and hold your right mouse button down to rotate the camera. And you can also move up and down using the Q for down and E for up. So now that we know how to move around, let's do something different and make our part look awesome. So up at the top of the Home tab, you'll see Select, Move, Scale, and Rotate. Now when I clicked each of those buttons, you saw the symbols in my workspace change. First thing we want to do is we want to change the size, which is the scale of my part. It's going to be hard to jump on that little part, so let's make it a little bit longer, a little bit wider. And you can even make it a little taller if you want. Now that we have it, we don't really want it on our spawn point because that's no fun for an obby to jump on the same spot you're standing. So let's go to the Move tool. And you'll see the three directional arrows here. We have up and down, and we have left and right, and we have forward and back. So let's go ahead and move that off of our spawner. Looking good. The other cool thing that we can do with any of our parts is click on the rotate button and you'll see these three directional circles appear. We can rotate this part so that it's a little harder to jump on if we'd like. Now we have a really cool part. So if we go back to our select tool, we know that it's still selected because there's these little blue lines that are around the edges of our part. Now, this is kind of a fun part, but for right now, we want to add some color because it's kind of boring when everything is all gray. So since we have our part uh, selected, we're going to go up to the top of this Home tab toolbar and click on the drop down arrow under color. Now you can choose any color you want. Let's make our part yellow. We can definitely see our part now. That looks great. Now in the part menu, you notice that we picked the rectangular prism, but there are a whole lot of other parts that we can add as well. If we hit the drop down arrow, we have lots of options. We can add a sphere, a wedge, a corner wedge, and a cylinder. So let's go ahead and just add a couple more shapes to our obby. There's a sphere and a wedge, the corner wedge, and the cylinder. Once again, we can move, scale, and rotate these pieces to make them look how we want them to be. Another important part, and probably one of the most important parts of your obby, 
is the fact that these parts will not stay in place unless we anchor them. As soon as I was to hit play on this game, all of my parts here would fall into space. Since we don't want that to happen because the whole point of an obby is to jump on the objects, we're going to go up to this top next to where we chose color and hit anchor. We can select all of our parts at once if we're on the select tool or even the move tool, and then we can anchor every part all at once. Now, of course, this is pretty neat, but we'd also like to add some color and variety. So let's go ahead and make this one orange. We'll go back to our move tool and arrange our parts so that they're a little harder to get to and a little harder to jump on. That's what makes the obbies fun. We'll change the colors, move the parts, and create space where we can jump around and complete our obby. Maybe a little lower on that one. Make it a little wider. There we go. That's looking pretty fun. I think I might rotate this one. Move it over just a little more. We have one more part down here. That's looking pretty good. There we go. Some more color variety. That looks like fun. Now we can test out our obby to make sure that these parts aren't too far away by clicking on the play button at the top of the home tab. This should take us into our game and let us try it out. There's our obby and there is my Roblox character. Looks like I can make the jump on that one. Perfect. Playing the obby a couple times through is a really good way to make sure that your character can make each of the jumps that you hope that you have set up correctly. To get out of the play, we go back up to where the play button was and hit the stop. And that takes us back to working more on our obby. So now that we have our first area of our obby set up, it would be a really good idea to add another spawn point, which would become a checkpoint for our obby, because even though this is a pretty cool obby, I don't think we want to have to start over at the first spawn point every time we fall off the obby. So that's an easy fix. If we go to the end of where we were just at, and you go over to workspace and click on there, you'll see a little plus sign pop up next to the word workspace. If we click on that, we can look for or search for the spawn location. If you type it in that top box, it'll pop right up to the top. And when we click on it, it will join our obby. Now you'll notice with this one, it does become anchored right away. So you don't have to worry about remembering to move it. So we're going to move this over just a little bit, maybe down a little so that it's a little harder to jump to, but not impossible. After we have our next spawn location, our checkpoint, we can also go back and add some variety to some more of our blocks. There's a really nice uh, user interface down here called properties. And any object you click on, it will bring up the properties for that part. So you can see right now, here's another place where we can change the brick color. I like the yellow, but maybe we wanted something a little less bright. And then the next part that's a lot of fun to change is the material. Right now it's set to plastic, so it looks kind of plain and flat, but we can change that to any other texture we want. Let's try marble. That looks pretty good. We can click through all of our different objects here, our parts, and choose either the same texture or different textures for each one. Here's pebble. Red is always fun to make look neon. Looks like it's glowing red. So you can decide whether you want all of your parts to look different or all have the same texture. You can also apply these textures to your spawn points. Like so. So another place where you can add things to your obby that make it more exciting is with the toolbox. The toolbox is usually located on the left side of your screen. And again, if you don't see it, you can go to that view tab and try to find the toolbox button. 
that will bring up your toolbox. So let's say we want to add something interesting to our obby, like a tree. All we do is type in tree in the search box and it gives us all sorts of really fun options. We can click and drag or just click and drop into your obby. That's a little big. We might want to scale that down just a little bit. You can use these parts to jump on them or you can use them to decorate your obby. There's all sorts of items that you can find in here. You can even find obby specific parts. So there's lots of things that you can search for and lots of ways you can add some more fun items to your obby. We hope that you have learned how to place parts and make your spawners work to create your own obby. From this point, it would be a lot of fun to continue on making really fun ways to jump and move around your obby. If you really enjoyed this video, we have tons of other ways with Create and Learn to keep growing your creativity with free coding classes, all on our website, create-learn.us. Since this is Roblox Studio, if this is what you're interested in, we have special classes that teach more in-depth coding on Roblox Studio. We can show you how to make a platform disappear, how to make a poison block, or even move things and color things as they are touched. It's a lot of fun and you get one-on-one -on -one instruction with a certified teacher who loves teaching coding. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can continue to know when we post more instructional videos. We'll see you next time.